Yvette says Mark should get a grip. This is his idea of holding hands. So she got her hands on someone new. I've never seen her that way before. If you'd spend more time with me than playing PlayStation, maybe you'd see I'd have so, Mark had a blind date too. He held my hand, like my whole hand, on the finger thing. And I, I doubt you would have kissed a face like that. And he went way past hand holding. Did what you? Was, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Now, will they put their problems on hold? Did you? Yeah. Or have a change of heart? What? Chris Jagger, welcome to Change of Heart. This is the show where couples who are questioning the future of their relationship agree to go on one blind date with someone new. So let's meet today's couple. Now, she's a waitressing wench at a medieval-style restaurant, and he's a chef at a fancy French cafe. Now, when they met about eight months ago, she lit his flambe with her sultry smile, while his sexy sleeve of tattoos left this damsel in distress. Please welcome Mark Sims and Yvette Rincon. Welcome. <laughs> Now, you guys are on the show because you're not sure that this fairy tale romance is going to have a happy ending, and let's find out why. Mark, we're going to start with you. Does Yvette actually enjoy the perks of dating a gourmet chef? The only chef she would fall for is Chef Boyardee. Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> chef Boyardee. So what, she doesn't appreciate all your efforts? No, no. He puts pepper in my food, and I don't you know like what? pepper in my food. I, he like, tries to, I like to cook. He tries I to cook with pepper. You know, it's like on her salad. It makes my she only itchy. likes lemon juice I don't like and it. salt. I don't like itchy throat, though, if she doesn't I'm like girl. it. You know? I know what I anyway, like. You know? if, if he's the gourmet chef, and you're the serving wench, are you also the cleanup girl? No, she's a slob. I'm not a slob. <laughs> I'm not I a like slob. Okay, ordinary. when I come home after working, I've worked very hard. Sure. Okay, I'm tired. So if I put my shoes in the corner, I don't have to put them away right then. Yeah. He's so anal. I just, he I'm cleans very every neat. day. I like things vacuums, neat and organized. Vacuums I like all my the house time. Neat, you know, I like Our my, house my is like house this. Right and she's just neat. the opposite, I guess. Yeah, she's totally just throw it everywhere. You no, know? that's not true. Yeah, just now, no, it's not. Yvette, you say you don't indulge his romantic meals. That's one thing. What about some romantic moves or uh, something else that you might treasure that you like from him? Something romantic. Okay, um, there was one time that he was telling me that he never gives girl flowers, they never appreciate it. So um, he, we had an argument and the next day he brought me flowers with saran oh. wrap around them. <laughs> it was sweet, it saran was sweet. Wrap. I was very surprised, it was, was really good. sweet. Yeah. So, so I, I, Mark, obviously that's kind of thoughtful. How would you describe Yvette though? She's a pest, she's always at me. I'll be at home playing Sony PlayStation or something and she'll like uh, turn it off while I'm playing the game. That's not true. I'm there two days out of the week. Or if I'm reading a magazine or a book, she'll pull it from me. And he's playing PlayStation while I'm sitting there not paying attention to me. I'm hardly ever there. Why can't you pay attention to me? Why do you gotta play PlayStation? I'm playing a game, you know? Well, let me ask you this, Mark. Is there a particular time that when you actually value her attentiveness and she's around? Yeah, I was in an accident. I was in the hospital for about four days and she was there the whole time. She slept there. Didn't leave, you know. The only time she left was when she went to get me some clothes to change into, you know. But she stayed there, slept Wow, there. so she was totally there for you. Very yeah. sweet, Yvette. Yeah. All right. Like so, that. Yvette, you're making him feel special at that point, you know, when he needed you. Does he make you feel the same way? I wish he did. He oh. makes me feel more like a friend than, a, than he's my boyfriend. He's more like my friend. We go out, he leaves anyway, me. Whatever. He doesn't pay attention to me. He doesn't whatever, care whether I'm having a good time. Leaves me at the bar, sitting there. I just, Mark, you got to romance her a little bit here. What's going I just, on? I'm not the type of person for a public display, you know? I just, I'm the we wanderer, you know? Anymore. I like to mingle, you know? I like to check things out, walk around. I'm the why wanderer. Don't, why okay, don't you well, check me out? I do. I check you out all the time. Can you, you even get him to hold your hand? hand? Yeah. Does he even hold he your hand? He doesn't hold my hand. This is his idea of holding oh, a hand. No way. The fingers. One finger. The finger lock. We're like, oh, babe. Yeah, anyway, it's just because she's so limp with her hand, you know? I like a nice firm grip. And she's now, like, Mark, okay, so you're not a fan of public displays of affection. How's Yvette, though, when you're out in public? She swears like a sailor. She's just <laughs> terrible. You know? That's it's right, like, I do. Like I have sailor. the right to speak it's however I like. It, we'll be no at one's paying attention to what we're no saying. How about Yvette? Doesn't what about him being rude in public if you're, you know, swearing in public is he rude? He is rude in public because, like I said, when we go out, he doesn't pay attention to me. He's inconsiderate. That's because I'm the wanderer. I like to walk around and mingle, see what's up. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's the way it Maybe is. Should be I'm not sure what he's looking for, but I'm obviously <laughs> you guys are trying to tolerate each other's differences. Now, Yvette, how, how do you think that dating somebody else is going to affect what you have? I think that Mark needs to see that just a given person will give attention. I need attention. It's a given thing. And that if he doesn't give me attention, that I might not be around for very long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Will the picky 
pesky sailor and this neat freak stay together? Find out later. Next, though, we're going to meet their dates, so stay here. All right, welcome back. We're here with Mark and Yvette. Now, Yvette says that she's annoyed with Mark's law and order at home and that she wants a relationship to be more than just friends. So we hooked her up with a guy who's politically incorrect but promises to take her to seventh heaven. Please welcome Danny Baraz. <laughs> Good to see you. And you know Yvette? Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Whatever. All right, Mark, what do you think? Uh, Yvette's date with Danny, kind of like <laughs> Fantasy Island? <laughs> yeah, Pardon me? <laughs> like, like being stranded on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you got some insecurities coming out there, buddy. All right, Yvette, what about you? What was the first so thing dork. you noticed about Danny? The first thing I noticed about Danny is that when we spoke on the phone, he took control. He was like, okay, we're going to do this. And he had plans. And he was just very together. And usually me and Mark don't go out. But if we do, he doesn't make plans. You know, it's just like whatever uh, so, he wants to do. Right. It doesn't matter. Not for my enjoyment. So yeah. Danny had the, the man with the plan, and you were comfortable with that then. You actually Most liked definitely. that. definitely, yes. I was very comfortable Nice change with it. of pace for you. So nice. Danny, uh, while you're talking to Yvette on the phone before you met, did you learn anything interesting about her? Yeah, I got the feeling she was kind of sick of this guy and that uh, he was a little... Well, that was quick. A little controlling and mean and really insecure, actually. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And Mark, did you, did, you, did you know that? I mean, did you think she'd be sharing that with on the, uh, him on the phone no, before they even met? No, if uh, she was unhappy, she should talk to me, not her date, you know, and that's I uh, didn't say problem. that I was yeah. unhappy. Yeah. Well, obviously, that was whatever, just... that's cool. All right, well, yeah. Yvette, let me talk about your date, and uh, how did we do matching you up with Danny? You did a great job. Well, first, when I went to his house, someone opened the door and I was going, man, I hope he's not my date. He's not my type. But I walked in and Danny walked up and I was like, oh, relieved. You know, he has cute hairdo, very pretty green eyes, oh. nice build. <laughs> he's dressed nice. So that was all good was for you. Great. And what about for you, Danny, when you saw Yvette? Were you happy? Yeah, I was really happy. I mean, she's, she uh, had beautiful, luscious lips and a uh, <laughs> beautiful smile. I mean, I was, I was really impressed. So we got off to a good start, I guess. Yeah, I got off to a good start, mm -hmm. definitely. She seemed kind of nervous at first, but then I uh, gave her a hug and a kiss, and she seemed a little more at ease. Uh -huh. yeah. And what about more than just physical? Did you notice some things there? Yeah, she seemed a little bit high-strung, is what it was. But then as soon as, uh, you know, I think I've made her feel a little bit more comfortable with, you know, the little hug and the kiss broke the ice. her down a little bit. Broke yeah, the ice. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So now, Mark, you know, Danny obviously didn't mind the high energy. Do you like that from her? Um, I've never seen her that way before, you know. It's, she's very laid back. Well, if you would take me, me out, anyway. maybe. Yeah, it gave her something to get excited more, about. If you'd spend more time with me than playing PlayStation, maybe you'd see I'd have so, some energy. So, Danny, tell us what you had planned for Yvette for the date. I was trying to convince her to go to Vegas, and um, I think I almost had her at a couple points, but then I think her boyfriend was holding her back. Oh. Well, you know, what? she's just on a date. Why would she go to Vegas? You know, it's not a, you know, yeah, that'd she's be got a boyfriend. You don't go to some Vegas with someone you don't even know. You know? Uh, all right, so well, we maybe had an anal. Danny, we had to go to plan B then, so what did you have planned? So then um, I took her to this restaurant, Border Grill, and we, um, <laughs> I ate some food, and she didn't eat, really. She just kind of watched. She had a yeah. cocktail. I mean, uh, I guess like he didn't allow her to drink. No, that's so. not true. I didn't set any limits on her. She's a no. she's an adult. She can do whatever she wants. You know, I like to drink. You know, I never once said that she uh -huh. had to be at home by a now, time. Uh, Yvette, did drinking. you have some rules before you went out that you had to live to? Um, I didn't really have rules. I just figured no, he no, wanted me no to come rules. over. He wanted me to come over after my date to make sure you know that I was with him. Whatever. Eight-hour date. He had an eight-hour date. So That's just I the way it worked out. We didn't That's set way, any time limit. Yeah, we didn't set a time limit. All right, now, Yvette, one of the things that you said about Mark was that he acted more like your friend as opposed to a date. What about with you and Danny? Did you feel like you were actually out on a, you know, a yeah. great date? He was very affectionate, very attentive. Aww. He didn't leave my side all night. He didn't start but wandering off like Mark not does. Not at all. Whatever. Not at all. Yeah. Now... Oh, what about like a touching and uh, public displays of affection? Because you get the finger lock from Mark, but. No, he like put his chin on my shoulder and kind of put his hand at the small of my oh, back dork. while I was walking in Sounds front of like him. And he was just very polite and very nice. Now, Mark, look how simple those little things are that, that, that made her so happy. I mean, you're saying he's kind of dorky for doing that, but 
she, she's happy about that. Whatever, you know, that's cool. I know what she likes. Obviously, she likes something about me, and she's still with me, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, at least yeah. up to this point, anyway. We'll see. Whatever, you know. Behind closed it's doors. all good. Now, Danny, yeah. you're at the club. How did you feel like you were, you know, behaving with Yvette? Oh, I didn't leave her for a second except to go to the bathroom, and I introduced her to all my friends, and uh, they all were, like, interested on what she was going to do, if she was going to have a change of heart or not. Mm -hmm. she, she said she wasn't sure. Uh, well, a little early yet at that point, I guess, yeah. in the game. Yeah. All right. So, Danny, uh, throughout the date, we heard, uh, you know, that she has a rough mouth. So did you experience that? Was she cussing away? Yeah, she did it a little bit. I mean, but it was a little bit endearing. She, I mean, she uses the F word like a lot of people use like in a sentence. But right? <laughs> <laughs> that's OK. That's that didn't okay. bother you at all. No, then you're like, yeah, whatever. No. All right, Yvette, uh, you're having a conversation with Danny. Anything particular stand out? Um, one thing did stand out. We don't have a lot in common. Me and Mark have a lot in common. That's one thing that did stand out a lot. So you notice the big difference is, is that, and what was it? Just every category, music, just a little things? bit in each category. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just. Different. And Danny, did you feel the same thing? There wasn't a lot of common ground. There wasn't a lot of common ground, but you know, we've had a lot of the same beliefs, so we we, we weren't lacking in conversation or anything like that. That's true. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Now. Event, we, we hear sometimes that opposites attract. Did that happen with you guys? I think opposites did attract a little bit towards the end of the night. After we, we had a good time, saw music, and he walked me to my car, gave me a nice hug, and oh. gave me a kiss, <laughs> real nice and sweet. It was yeah. great. All right, so it ended on a very nice note. All right, now next we're going to meet the woman that Mark dated, and we're going to hear all about that date, so stay with us. <laughs> Just heard what happened on Yvette's date with Danny, and now we're going to meet the woman that Mark went out with. Now, Mark gave us a wish list for qualities for his new date. Now, Mark, what exactly was it that you were looking for? Tell um, us. Short hair, someone with nice clothes, someone who knew how to dance, swing dance. So you those know. were the things that were going to be important yeah, to you? Yeah, those are things that I like. All right, well, let's see how well we did. Please welcome 24-year-old Christy Morgan. Yeah. Hi, Christy. Welcome. Thank you. You know Mark. Yvette, what do you think? Do you think that Christy could actually sweep Mark off his feet? Not, not a chance. I've already swept Mark off his feet. Uh-huh. He's long gone. He's long gone. All right, Mark, let me ask. Did we honor all your requests? Did we get it good? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. She's beautiful, you know, nice short hair. I could put my hand on the back of her neck like I like to do, mm -hmm. you know? I couldn't tell if she could dance too much because, you know, I was just checking it. out her body, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, Yvette, did you hear that? Uh, he says he doesn't like public displays of affection, but here he is worrying about rubbing the back of her neck. Well, whatever. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> okay, just he a little doesn't do it. There a little he doesn't well, do inconsistency. It to me. Now, Christy, what about you? Were you impressed when you met Mark? Well, I was all dressed and you know ready to go dancing, and he showed up at my door in um, jeans and sneakers and a flannel shirt. But so what? Yeah. You uh, like a little too casual for yeah, the date? Yeah, it was really casual. I thought you know he'd be dressed up a little bit more, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> All right, so Mark swinging a miss there, special. swinging a miss there with a wardrobe, I guess. So, yeah. uh, did you do something else to take her mind off that? I, I made these uh, white chocolate desserts for. Um, Yvette doesn't like cho white chocolate too much. I so love I, chocolate, I, thank you. Not white chocolate. White chocolate. Big white difference. chocolate. That's so why you I, made them white chocolate. Yeah, yeah. white chocolate. Exactly, because <laughs> I wanted to impress my date, you know. Anyways, you didn't do a very good job showing up in uh, dirty anyways. sneakers and jeans. <laughs> Mark, I know his sneakers. Thank hey, you, honey. Hey, Mark, were you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Christy, you, you open the door. Here's this guy holding some desserts. What'd you think? I thought it was really sweet that he took time to make something for me. You know, usually Aww. people don't bring me gifts, and the norm is like flowers right. or whatever. I thought it was sweet. He took time to make something for me. Well, time and effort put into it. Yeah. Okay. So, Christy, Not you like the white chocolate part. What about the fact that he's got these tattoos all over the place? Love it. Love it. So sexy. That was a turn off. Tattoos here. are so hot. Now, I like, uh, he has this one of this pinup girl on his arm. Which one is it? On this arm? Yeah, this one little pinup girl? Okay. I uh, love tattoos. I mean, okay. They're so sexy. They so, are. that was definitely a plus. So, you I like agree. that? They are sexy. Now, uh, so the, the date's going to start here. Where did he plan to take you, Christy? Uh, we were going to go to House of Blues and see a band. And then after that, just, you know, play it by ear. So, catch some live music. Now, mm -hmm. Yvette, you're a little bit surprised that he was going to go club hopping and, you know, do the town? I doubt he paid attention to her going club hopping. We go to clubs. We go to clubs 
and he's across the room doing this, doing that. So, so Mark, where where were you at the clubs? Were you um, beside Christy? The whole Christy time or I was standing right next to her. And, Hugging on her, and, you know. Not never much. left her she side. Was never left her side. The only time, the only time, the only time that I uh, left her side was when I went to go buy her a drink, you know. Right. Get now, here's drink. the other thing, Christy. When Yvette was talking about when they're out, no public displays of affection. He never left your side. What about the PDAs? Oh, he was. <laughs> I had all of his attention. He held my hand, like my whole hand, not the finger thing. I don't know what you were talking uh, hello. about. Hello. <laughs> he had his arm around me the whole time. Never left. Never left my side unless he was going to the bar. You held her hand. Yeah. So a little different yeah. side of him, Yvette, this time around. Now, Mark, you can't act like that with Yvette, but why were you acting like that with Christy? I wanted yeah, to make what? a good impression, you know? It's he knows how to day. get a woman, but not how to keep a woman. <gasps> As a dork, Maybe if you, know? you were so clingy, and I don't you have to lie and say I own the business clingy, when honey, I don't. It's not that I'm clingy, I get to spend know? two anyway, days out of the week cool. with him. I want his attention. Uh, I think he I just wants it. to know that she's appreciated. I think I deserve it. All right, now wait a minute, Mark. One of the things on your uh, list, the last one, was the swing dance part. Did she fit that bill? Yeah, most definitely. We uh, we enjoyed dancing. We had a good time. Uh, you know, I danced with her, had fun, you know? So cool. that was all working then, all the yeah, chemistry oh, totally. was there? We were, we were leaning into each other I, at How that about point. when you swing that, so you do that dip thing and all yeah, that? I, I, yeah, I, yeah. You did some of that? Yeah. It was great. Give her a little dip. Yeah? And yeah. what happens once you dipped her? Uh, after that, uh, she, uh, she, you know, I dipped her, <laughs> and then she kissed me on the cheek, you know? <laughs> she gave you a little kiss? You? Yeah, on the of cheek, Of course yes. she kissed you, because you wouldn't have had anything to do with her. Oh! I doubt you would have kissed a face like that. Thank you. Christy, let me get your opinion on something because Yvette says that Mark's an anal retentive neat freak. Did you get that same sense? Not at all. No way. I smoke and he doesn't smoke and he let me smoke yeah. in his car and anyone that's, you know, that anal wouldn't. That was the first thing that. he said to me though about how she he didn't like that she smoked. Right. Yeah. Now Mark, how about nasty. Mark, how about the fact that here you are being affectionate and exchanging kisses, dancing and everything. What about Yvette though? Was she ever on your mind when you were out with Christy? Yeah, of course she was. She, you know, she's my girlfriend. I mean, I had a good time. I was attracted to, to Christy. She's beautiful, you know. But um, I miss Yvette, you know, because we have s such good things in common, you know. We're, we're good together. I doubt that. When we're in the same anyway, room, he doesn't even whatever. pay attention to me. What makes me think that he's going to be on, whatever. I'm going to be on your mind yeah. while I'm away. She's not buying that at all, I guess. That's, that's fine. I'm yeah, near whatever. you. You don't even pay attention to me. That's cool. Whatever. Yeah. All right, Christy, what do you think? You, you think Yvette was on his mind? Could you tell? Could you sense? Not that I knew. I mean, I had. it seemed like I had all of his attention. Oh. It's, he was very affectionate. He, we had great conversation. We talked the whole time. We're into a lot of the same things. And then at the end of the night, he took me home and walked me to my door and Gave me a really soft kiss good night, and Aww. that was it. And Maybe it ended very sweetly. Yeah. Did, you? Yeah. did you? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he confirmed it twice for you. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> One more. Did you? One more. Yeah, all right. Are you sure? All right, we're Christie's free spirit and kisses on the dance floor, enough to give uh, Mark a change of heart. During the break, they've got to make that decision. We're going to find out what they decide when we come back, so stay here. <laughs> Clearly, Mark and Yvette have bonded with their unique and rather eccentric taste. Now, underneath that core, though, Yvette needs a man to give her more attention, to be her lover and not just her friend. And Mark, I guess he needs a woman who's more independent and less of a pest. So, Yvette, we're going to get your decision first, though. Now, you said you wished Mark would treat you like a girlfriend and be more romantic. You did go out with Danny. We set you up with a nice date. And he did give you what you said you were missing with your relationship with Mark. So we need to get your decision. Stay together or change of heart. Well, Danny was great. He gave me a great date. I had a really good time. I haven't had a good time like that in a long time. But me and Mark just have a chemistry that's unbeatable. So stay together. So you say stay together. All right, Danny, sorry things didn't work out for you. Mark, let's get your decision here. Now, Yvette wants to stay together. Uh, you do have that strong bond and some history with her. However, you went out with Christy. You guys had a good time. I mean, the public displays of affection. You never left her side the whole time that you were out there. What do you say? Um, Christy and I went out and had a good time. We went to House of Blues, met some people, you know, had fun. Um, Yvette and I um, have history together. Um, we have a good time, but um, I can't give her the attention she needs, so I'm having to change our heart. Change of heart. And Christy, does that work for you? All right, the audience doesn't seem
seem to think that that's a popular opinion. And Yvette, you know what? If you weren't getting what you wanted from Mark, maybe it's better. Maybe and uh, I'm sure there's the somebody door, out huh? there that's going to give it to you. Uh, that is our show for today. Thank you to Yvette and Danny. And good luck to Christy and Mark. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart.